Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to Sims 4 Let's Play Barbie. Um, I know I've done a, um, an episode of this a couple of days ago, but I can't do it because of, I think I might have fixed the lag. Also, as, um, I'm hoping that we could buy Barbie a retail store today. Well, it'd be, it'd be up for the whole family, but I think it'd be mainly Barbie, because you'd be the one that'd be mainly going there maybe checking it out, making sure I think it's okay and it'll basically be kind of her, her kind of her kind of way of things. It's mostly pink as well, it's mostly girly so I think that fits her even more and yeah, um, I, I chose one, I already kind of knew what I wanted and I placed it after the um, after I finished filming the um, last episode of Just Say Barbie, it's a couple of days ago so yeah I've been waiting for, um, to do this episode really so I'm hoping to do that in this video so that is the aim of this video so that is basically what we're going to do that's basically what this episode is going to be um surrounded by and um concentrated on so i'm going to with you guys um and yeah so we're going to get barbie to actually do it like i said i know what um what i really want i'm going to give you a little show around if you want me to give you a proper tour or whatever i'll let you know down below but because it's just basically one room kind of thing you know what i mean when we go when we actually go to it um Really, once I once show it you now, really, there's not really much more to show you. So, really, you know, there isn't really, like I said, much to show you, so there isn't really much point doing another kind of um, show around. But yeah, if you want to let me know, also, want to know any details about it, then let me know in the comments down below as well. Like, um, who, who, who made it and that kind of thing, who built it. Um, also, um, obviously, like in, in this same because of this we're going to do a little bit of gameplay with the shop and that so you can kind of see how that runs um do make sure that um you know that i am just starting out on it so i'm not going to be brilliant but um this is basically mainly the first time i've kind of played with this one side of the sims so do kind of just hop on and just kind of stay with me and yeah hopefully i can get more and more better the more and more we do it um, and so yeah, um, if you want to see any more gameplay on it, then you've got to count to Sarah's, or you can let me know and we can sort something out. And also say thing on the restaurant side of it. I did do a game review, um, a game pack review on it about a week or so ago, so you can go check that out if you want to. Just go on my channel, just look back through my videos and find it should be pretty much um, obvious. So yeah, you can check that out. Um, if you want to see more of that as well, then um, if you want me to see an actual series on which I'm thinking about doing, or and um, because it was only basically like a basic review, I feel like if you want more depth, you let me know as well. You know, let me know all that in the comments of this video or the comments of that video. But anyway, I think that's what I'm going to say for now. Anything else I'll say for the video at the end, and let's get into it. So let's get into her, get into her actual boutique. So we are going to be actually pressing, 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 press and play. And if you want to own your own shot, you just press this little kind of till option there. And before I didn't really have this, I would just have the only option it was to actually own a shop. If you had obviously the get together and a retail shop. But now if you get the game pack, you can actually own restaurants and now it has two options now. So you've got to press select an option and it comes up this drop down bar, you can either buy a retail store or buy a restaurant. We're gonna buy a retail store. Um, and then it just goes straight to the map, and that's when you can choose where you want your retail store to be. Choose what your retail store to be. But like I said, I already placed it. I placed it in Windenburg where they live already. I kind of want it all, all their kind of stuff and their faces to be in Windenburg. I can kind of centered around there, even though we might put the other occasional things in other worlds um, later on in the series. But we're just going to see. But here it is. It's pretty much small. Well, it's pretty small. I think but I think it is quite a nice little cute size anyway but we can always expand things if we think that we should if we think that we need to but I think for now especially just as it's we're just starting out I think now it is all okay the way things are the way it is so yeah I'll give you a little I'll, I'll show you a little um I'll show you around it a little bit um now and then we'll go into sorting things out like um the employee's uniform and that kind of thing and um, transfer prices and go a little bit through all that setup and that and it hiring our first employee and all that kind of stuff we're going through in a minute and maybe getting some sales and stuff like that and maybe i'm not promising you but maybe we'll get into some gameplay as well if we don't in this episode we should 
by next episode. Anyway, this will pop up. So this is this. So transfer fund to your business. So I think 10k is a pretty good start. Maybe it's a bit too less but, or just a bit too much. But like I said, I don't really know much about this. I'm just going to guess and going to do what I think. So that's that. Um, so we have to go through all this. So that's our kind of, uh, yeah, we haven't got any of that to do yet. Obviously it opens up, yeah. You need to hire employees. So let's find an employee. Uh, I think this person looks quite good. So I think we're going to hire her. Let's hire her. Oh, let's get rid of that to be kind in a minute. Barbie's hired a new employee. Dorothy, um, Lavelle will arrive for her first shift the next time the store is open. Be sure to track Dorothy's retail skills in the employee management window and assign her an appropriate work card when she arrives. Okay, hopefully we can do that at the time. But so let's choose, let's actually choose that outfit. So we need to do obviously a women's thing now because we've got a woman working. When we get a man, hopefully we can sort that out then. I quite like this outfit to start off with anyway, so I'm going to get rid of these because I don't want these. But I quite like that one, but I think Barbie would prefer it to be pink because it's quite bright. So match with that the theme is what I'm going with with the shop. I want you to wear pink. Um, you know, I want you to wear this outfit, but I want you to wear pink. So, you know, it's my it's my shop, my rules. You need to do what I say. I think that's what, kind of what she would do. <laughs> I think in a way. Because I hear Barb is that kind of person. Then we're just going to stick to a white skirt. I think it'd be better. And these shoes, I think we'll just go with. You don't have any pink, so we'll just go with just white. And yes, I think that's what we're going to go with there. Um, we can always change. I'm guessing you can always change the outfits in there anyway. So I think we'll just keep it like that for now. See how things go. Then we can always change things. Um, Sounds door, and then we don't do that. Okay, so it's I think I think I think it's side. Everything's done, but what we do need to do is we might have put a few things on sale. So you can actually get these mannequins, and you can actually create outfits for people to buy. So I think we're going to actually do that and create a few outfits for people to buy. Um, so let's actually go and do tops. Let's do a kind of a top outfit. Um, Uh, let's see what the people want to buy. Um, uh, maybe this kind of flowery top. Um, maybe this flowery top here with some. Let's go. I want a skirt. They make it there. Um. um what will probably go nice? Let's go with pants. What will go nice with that? Maybe some with nice trousers. Um, I don't know. Oh, I think I know. Let's go maybe let's see what skirts there are. Maybe this look. Maybe that might be nice. Look for some shoes. Oh, you have to put shoes on? I'm guessing so. Let's just put. We haven't put any jewelry or anything on. Just because I think, you know. Maybe my little nice of these. No, not nice of these. I'm not, I, I think like it can also be kind of random, even though I think that might be one. Even though it kind of has to look nice, but it kind of has to be random, it's just maybe showing off things and that kind of thing. Um, I, well, I mean, I'm not saying that I'm brilliant at kind of choosing outfits and that for people for things, but um, also I feel like I'm not the worst. So yeah, you kind of have to stick with it. That is the first outfit. Uh, maybe um, we can get them to have. Um, let's just see where we are with the time situation. Yeah, so we have only got the, um, another comment in the episode. So I think what we might do is we're going to just quickly, hopefully, get these 
a few of these done and we can always finish them off. Um, we can always finish them off um, next episode. Okay. And tops. So maybe let's go with kind of like a kind of businessy type of thing. Let me go with this. Um, maybe that pink. Uh, with some business trousers. Actual business trousers to go with things. Let's just go with black. Why not? And then shoes, high heels, probably. Um, obviously, high heels. And probably with black. Yeah, that's, that could be what, another one. I'm just literally doing it quick. But like I said, we can always change things either before we open the shop or after. Because obviously, when people buy them, we probably will have to change them anyway. I can't, I watched a couple of videos and that on it, but I can't really remember everything about it. So, we do have to be on fire. So, that's, um, is that all of them? Let's just turn it around and see. So that's them two, I think. Um, oh no! I've changed both of them. I don't really know how this all works. Do you have to create like another outfit then? Um. I think you have to, um, I don't know, let's do that with, mm, with shorts, but there were shorts that actually went with this, so I thought one really nice with these, um, with um, shoes, let's just see how that looks. I don't really know why, because I did make sure I kept them with one, I thought, when you click on each one, it will change each one, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't really know it's about anyway. We are going to be ending this episode here, like, very soon anyway. Um, so, we will probably have another more in-depth play with it next episode. So, yeah, it's changed it again. So, um, not really sure why it's done that. Um, God knows why it's doing this. I really don't know why. Um, let's. Why is it? Oh. I don't know, guys. I don't not know. But we are going to be having another play of it next episode, so we'll try and figure things out. I mean, here we've got little kid mannequins, but it's not a word that we can dress up to that we do soon. So, um, yeah, we're sort of that out. If you guys have any tips or any hits or anything, let me know. Oh, pause that. But let me know in the comments down below and we will do sort that out. Um, and yeah. Anyway, thank you for all watching. Um, leave anything in the comments down below. But I said, for the video, give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if you want to see more. Um, uh, subscribe if you're new or if you haven't already. Um, and remember to share the video and yeah, share it with friends, your family and friends. And yes, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it and hope to see you in the next video. Bye!